Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy, Madonna Saigon, aka Axel Rose, aka Xbox King, aka the only Xbox fan, keeping it real on YouTube. We finna talk gaming. We're gonna actually talk about the recent layoffs, which are about to happen tomorrow over at the Xbox. So if you're a box rider, you might wanna dip out right about now. Because we ain't doing that. Right. Back in July, Phil Spencer said that the Xbox Entertainment Division, they might be experiencing some layoffs due to a refocus on branding and just direction for the whole Xbox One console. And Microsoft recently announced that there was supposed to be, by the end of the year, or close to fiscal year 2015, there was going to be 18,000 layoffs at Microsoft. Well, it turns out that on the 25th of September, that 2,000 of those will actually come from the Xbox the division. Now, I'm not sure why they've chose to bring it, you know, forward like that. Maybe it has something to do with the recent acquisition of Minecraft and Moia But, in way, Xbox will be losing some as well. And apparently, it might actually have some effect on the upcoming Halo series. You know, the one that Steven Spielberg was involved in. Now, thinking about losing some of the entertainment features or the entertainment prospects that were promised to us doesn't actually really affect me or doesn't make me feel too angry because to be honest right now we need a more first party focused and centric Microsoft. We need Microsoft to be on the A game as far as bringing new and innovative IP to the Xbox One platform or to the Xbox brand in general. But, when you think about it, why would a company that could frivolously spend money on timed exclusives, DLC, on Call of Duty, and $2.5 billion on an IP that's been released on almost every platform already, why would they have to cut costs? Does it mean that they are a bit shaky about the future of the Xbox brand? Recently, CNBC analyst Kramer stated that things like the acquisition of Minecraft's developer to move, well, is one of many moves to add weight to Microsoft spinning off the open brand. As CEO Satya Nadella has already said, the Xbox brand is love, but it's not core what Microsoft are trying to be. Kramer also went on to state that this looks like it's a definite spin-off move and that Microsoft also get their money from OE to do such big maneuvers. So, when you think about it, if big acquisitions like Mojang look like things that could entail Microsoft are spilling off the brand, what would job losses look like? Now, we've already seen Microsoft enter into the Asian market, so it does mean that they still actually do have a lot of the belief in the brand themselves. I'm not saying they don't have a lot of belief in the brand, but I am saying there is a lot of stuff that looks suspicious. I will have links to both articles in the description and I'd like to know what you think about this and what it means to the Xbox brand. I'd just like to give a shout out to Dread, AG the God, everybody up in that bitch society basically. And JD, one stop for gamers, everybody that's holding on the channel and watching the videos, you okay. And yeah, make sure you like, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff.